now it's time to go around the world. Remember, boys and girls, we just finished Mexico. So today we are going to visit a new country today. But first, I would like you to look at this one. This is called map. And our map, we have four directions. We have north, south, east, and west. And we have seven continents. So boys and girls, I would like you to help me join in and sing our continent song. Ready? Begin. Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, North and South America. I know my seven continents. Very good. So now today, we're done with Mexico. We are going to visit Peru. Look at the map of Peru. Peru is located on what continent? You're right. It is located on South America. Very good. And this is the map of South America. And look at the Peru on that side. Now, today we are going to visit Rosa. Rosa is going to show us her country. So, are you ready? Say, hello, Rosa. So, Rosa lives in a mountain village in Peru. We learned about someone else who lived in, in a mountain village. Do you remember who it was? And it was from Mexico. Our friend name was Pedro. Very good. Pedro lived also in a mountain village like Rosa. So people in, who live in the cities near the Pacific Ocean, this is the Pacific Ocean, okay, um, they dress a lot like we do. As we travel away, as we travel away from the ocean, we notice that the people dressed as they have in Peru for many, many years. We see children in a field playing their favorite game. It is a soccer. We will see many farmers along the way as we travel to Rosa's village. We like to eat some of the food that grow in Peru. Bananas, tomatoes, and potatoes. When your mother buys potatoes at the store, what kinds of potatoes much might she buy? Sweet potatoes or white potatoes? Farmers in Peru raised over 3,000 different kinds of potatoes. They come in all shapes and sizes and colors. Some of them are small and purple. They look like purple gum drops. Some of them are like red cherries. Farmers in Peru also grow coffee beans. They grow cotton too. The cotton from Peru is some of the finest in the world. Finally, we arrive at Rosa's village. Rosa has come out to welcome us. The animal with her looks like a camel, except that it doesn't have a hump. That is her llama. Llamas are very common in Peru. They carry goods to market for, for the people. Rosa must be careful not to put too heavy a heavy load on his back, or the llama will balk. He will just stand there and not move. If Rosa tries to make him move, the llama may spit on her face. Llama wool is used for clothing because it is very soft. So today, we learn about Rosa's village and then the animal that with her that they use to transport their goods to the market and it is the llama and the llama's wool use for clothing. Uh, I have three questions for you boys and girls. What sport do children like to play in Peru? You're right, soccer. Next, what crops do par uh, farmers grow in Peru? Mm -hmm. 
bananas, tomatoes, potatoes, coffee, and cotton. And the last one, what animal do people use to carry heavy loads? Llama. Good job, boys and girls. Don't forget to uh, work on your seat work. And this one, if you have any question, just uh, let me know. Thank you.